Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget load level node. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the load level node. I have a map here that we can see. This is my load level node. When I run the example and hit load level, well, it loads a new level. That's basically what it does. It's going to take in an asset path. So this is a full asset path to the map you want to load. It doesn't need the asset type in the beginning, and it doesn't need the extra dot asset name at the end. So in this case, it's my folder path, game examples, WTF, widget, editor, utility, and then the map name, map underscore blank. And we can see that map here in my content browser right here, and this is the map we want to load up. If it's successful, it'll return back a true value. If not, it'll return back a false. Now note, it does require the editor scripting utility plugin, or else you're not going to find it. And that's it. It's really simple. Now, one of the key things to note here is it's going to load up in a persistent level state. So as an example, here's a main level I have with a persistent level and a sub-level, sub-level 1. If I was to open up sub-level 1 here, you'll notice it's blank. There's nothing really in it except for three cubes, which we can't see since it's dark. We go into here. Let's copy our reference for our sub-level. Let's open up a new level so we know we're going to load properly. We're going to paste it in here. We're going to get rid of our asset type, which is our world at the beginning. We're going to get rid of our extra duplicate name at the end. So we'll erase that. We're going to tell we want to load up our sub-level 1. We'll compile and save. We'll run our button. And you'll notice it's going to load up what we did before. Even though this is a sub-level, well, I'm using it as a sub-level, we're still going to load up as a persistent main primary level when we use the load level node. And that's it. That is your load level node. Really simple. Takes in a string, which is an asset path of the path plus the map name. Loads it up. It will go ahead and close your current level without saving that. So keep it in mind. You're not going to get prompted. It's just simply going to close it. And then load up your current existing level you have in this asset path. 